Minnie Pearl celebrated her 73rd birthday Friday, but as Elaine Gannick reports, it's been more of a sobering year than a joyous one for this Nashville institution. Minnie Pearl's famous greeting has been her signature for more than 45 years, but it's her homespun humor and good-natured put-downs which have made her a favorite with country fans. But I don't worry about what fellers say, just so I get to be around them. I like to look at them. It don't do no good, but I look. <laughs> it's like going down to the depot and watching the trains go by. You love to hear the whistle, even if you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Minnie's real-life alter ego was born Sarah Ophelia Colley more than 70 years ago. After graduating from a girls' finishing school, Sarah embarked on a career, of sorts, in the theater, traveling from town to town directing amateur plays. This was in the middle 30s, and they just didn't know this uh, career-type thing that I was doing. And... Uh, they'd say, a woman's coming in to direct a play. Well, see, when I'd come in, uh, they took it for granted that I was, uh, that I'd been around a great deal, which I hadn't. I'd come straight from a girl's finishing school. Uh, before that, a home where I was sheltered, my mother and father, mercy. And they didn't want me to get into that business. But see, it all comes around to Minnie Pearl. I was supposed to do that in order to reap the benefits of Minnie Pearl. Minnie soon became a favorite on the Grand Old Opry, and her future was set, although her fortune was not. I had an audition, and they said that I could work on Saturday. And if I went along, all right, they would engage my services for the large amount of $10 on Saturday night. Well, I was on WPA at that time, time and I was making $50 a month, so that $10 looked pretty good. We better explain to the people what an Easting House kitchen is. Yeah, I think you better. I think we better. Yeah, this is it. Uh, friends, Lodge Easting House, you remember Lodge? Knows him well. Knows him well. Lodge Easting House. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong about knowing Lodge? No, but you didn't know him that well at rehearsal. <laughs> well, I didn't know nothing at rehearsal. <laughs> In the early 50s, Minnie Pearl made her initial appearances on network television. Two decades later, she joined the cast of Hee Haw, and today remains one of the show's most popular characters. For all her successes, Minnie was voted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1975. Throughout her career, she's had the advice and encouragement of her husband, Henry Cannon. It seems nothing slows this energetic woman down, not even a double mastectomy due to breast cancer. And she's decided, with no small amount of courage, to go public on that subject. I don't think it took all that much courage. I am a public figure. I have been a public figure for 45 long, happy years. And sometimes people will read something that has my name on it to find out what in the world I'm into next. Or they will tune in a television show to decide kind of a fool I'm going to make of myself that time. But at the same time, when I go seriously into something, as a rule, people might, might listen, might uh, heed what I'm trying to say to them. And uh, they have, and I think it's wonderful.